New to the Waze Navigation app and not sure how to use it? I'm Jessica from TechBoomers.com and this video will be our beginner's guide to Waze, where you'll learn all the basics of how to use the Waze app. Now let's get started. If you haven't installed the Waze app yet, you can download it for free from the App Store on your smartphone. We'll leave download links in the description section below. Note that when using Waze, you'll need to have mobile data connection and location services enabled. Let Waze access your location. Scroll down and tap Accept. Once you have the app set up, this is what the main Waze screen looks like. To set a destination you want to navigate to, tap My Waze in the bottom left corner. You'll see a menu appear on the left side. Type in your desired destination in the Where To text box. Or tap one of the category icons to find nearby drive throughs parking, gas stations, or restaurants. Tap the three dots on the right to access more categories to search, like pharmacies, grocery stores, hospitals, and hotels. Tap the address you want to go to when it appears in the search results. To see how to get there, tap View Routes. To start navigation, tap Go at the bottom. Waze will then start telling you directions to your destination. The app will read directions to you out loud. To see more options, tap the arrow button in the bottom right corner. To see alternate routes to your destination, tap Routes. Tap the route you'd like to take. If you're heading to meet a friend, tap Send ETA to share your estimated time of arrival. Tap Overview to see an overview of your route on a map. Tap Recenter to go back to the default view. If you like to listen to music while you're driving, tap the music icon in the top right corner. Then you can select the audio app you want to use. You can link Waze with your favorite music streaming app and control your music on Waze without having to switch between apps. You can also change the voice for the directions if you like. If you want to cancel your navigation, tap the arrow in the bottom right corner, then tap Stop at the bottom. To make it easier for you to navigate to places you drive to regularly, tap My Ways. Then tap Home. Begin typing your home address. Then tap your address when it appears in the search results. At the bottom, tap Set Home and Go to save your home address. Navigation will start automatically. Tap Stop if you'd like to exit navigation. You can then do the same thing for your work address or any other locations you visit frequently to add them to your favorites. Even if you know the way there, this can be helpful to warn you of traffic delays, construction, or other road hazards. Use the Plan Drives tool to have Waze recommend the best time to leave in order to get to your destination on time. This way you're less likely to end up running late because of traffic or any other delays. You can indicate when you want to arrive and Waze will remind you when it's time to leave. While using Waze, you can tap the orange message icon to report something on the road, such as traffic, a collision, hazard, police presence, or a road closure. This will let other Waze users know to look out for these things. That does it for our beginner's guide to Waze. This is a great navigation app that's very user-friendly. Let us know in the comments if you'd like to see more Waze tutorials. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, we'd love it if you'd hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to our channel. We put out great new tech tutorials like this one every week.